Hello everyone, I am your friendly neighborhood Okatushka and welcome back to Humankind. I'm joined once again with uh, our lovely Dictator. I prefer Grand Supreme Ultimate Ruler of all time, but I'll take Dictator. Okay, cool. Uh, so why don't you remind us what we were doing last time? I have no idea what we were doing last time. <laughs> I was ruining your life. I don't know what you were doing. That is, that is very true. What we were doing last time was we were trying to burn this down because these peaceful, very peaceful, see they even have a peace sign right here, independent people were trying to take this land that so rightfully belonged to us. Oh yeah, how dare they. Yeah, so we were... Living peacefully. Yeah, so we were burning their city to the ground. Uh, also, we were... What was it? I think one of our cities... Ah, this one over here. We were building the amphitheaters uh, before we go into the next era. Right, right, right. Yeah. And you've behaved so well today, so I'm definitely in the mood to give you what you want. Oh, well, it's, it's good to hear. I'm so happy to... So happy to hear that. Anyways, let's see. We'll uh, we'll garrison them here. Let's see. This city needs to pick something to do. Let's see. How are they looking? Do do do. Hungry. Uh. Let them eat cake. We need to build some industry. Let them eat bread. They're hungry. They can eat whatever they want. I don't care. They ain't like they got much. All right. That's a new story. You want to read it? Sure. All right. Go ahead. A map of the heavens. The Empire's achievements in the sciences are already a matter of great pride. Now a bright, industrious woman hailing from the Empire's most renowned center of learning, San Lorenzo, has presented you with an atlas of the heavens, dividing the stars into constellations. The wheeling nature, once the domain of the gods alone, now approaches human comprehension. How should it be used? Ooh, interesting. Yeah. I have never had this story before, so I actually don't uh, don't know what this one is. All right, what are my options? Uh, Milt Rise. Sharing this with our Empire's armies could give us an edge in exploration or educate. With an adequate funding, a work like this could inspire a, uh, inspire a generation of artists and thinkers. You already know where I'm going. Yep. We well, actually, it can go one of two ways with you. You're very bloodthirsty, but you want us to be very smart. So Ooh, which I one... Do. Which one uh, do you think we should do? Let's see. I'm going to go with educate them. Educate? I'm just looking at stuff that you don't need to worry about because it's just for me to see how much I hate myself right now. Okay, we'll go with educate. All right, and now we get to pick a new science and technology. We sure do, don't we? Yep, we got and your little horsey man. Oh, thank you. And this went over so well last time, didn't it? It did. You got your horsey man. I did. I recall other things happening as well. Yeah, well... Theology, please. Theology? Okay. Theology. I'll go with theology. Dude, I'm just looking at what we got. I don't care what else we've got. Well, I'm just... I mean, I'm looking for next time. You're not permitted. Your opinion doesn't matter. Hit end turn. Thank you. Okay. Well, before we hit end turn, do you want to spend one more turn in this era? Or do you want to go ahead and advance to the next one? Does it matter? Uh, it matters for our amphitheater. Finish now. my amphitheater. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just shoot this one up try to hurry it up with five research quarters dedicated now, to science one uh, wonders what will run out first food or pens and paper now what i recommend we do because hold on let's see how close is somebody else to oh no 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 we still got a little while before somebody else gets an error star we're a little bit behind i don't know that oh these guys where are they how you doing oh. friend oh the english we're a little bit behind the english but they're, they seem to be the only ones who are ahead of us with error stars. So I think we should be all right for right now. And let's... Oh, what do they want? Oh, they're suspicious How of us. How do you us. do? In ever oh, since they should be. Uh, they should be, because we, uh, we thoroughly throunced them. Mm -hmm. Throunced? Either thrashed or trounced. You may have one or the other, but not both. Yeah, I'll say thrashed. We thrashed them last time, but I'm gonna go with trade everything. I'm gonna propose this to them. try to build up a little bit of a, a little bit of a relationship. Maybe they, maybe we can be friends. Why? I want them dead. I want them gone. I want them eradicated from the face of every planet, not just this one. Well, if we're friends, they pay us. I do like money. Do we have to pay them? We don't have to. Cool. Want to propose it? Fine. You should oh, listen no, to this. No, we're not. We're not paying Sweet you for you deal. to buy our stuff. Enemies. <laughs> She must have heard all the times that I said I wanted her and her people dead. Must have. All right, well, uh, ooh. Do we have, uh, anybody nearby? You. Go get that. Oops, city is idle. What do you got going on? Oh, they built the... the 
What is it called again? Maker's Quarters. Okay, what would that Maker's Quarter built? They are definitely producing a lot more. So, let's see. What should we build next? Feed them. Fine, I'll get them some food. Thank you. Something to make our affairs more civil? Now? Yeah, she wants to propose a non aggression Your proposal tag. gives me no. pause. No? Do you want to just flat out refuse or see if we can get some money out of this? If we sign a non aggression tag, are we still allowed to attack them? We're not allowed to, but we can always break the non aggression pact. We'll just be seen as an asshole. Well, I don't want to be seen as an asshole, just a bloodthirsty, well educated people. Okay. So, see if they see, counter, see if we can get anything, but if we get anything worth You'll it. You'll need to offer nah, more. Nah, they decided not to. Cowards. Alright, let's see. We got a new civic. Ooh. Ooh, we got this early. It must be because of the, the new stories. Alright, let's see. Show detail. Scientific fact. What is the response to Imperial finding that contradicts religious truths? Ooh. It's the age-old debate, isn't it? Yeah. Read it to me. I can't see it. Oh, uh, compatibilism. The holy word need not be taken literally. Only their spirit is intended. Or literalism. What is written is pure truth, regardless of what science says. Compatibilism. I figured as much. We are a well-educated, but also fairly religious. Indeed. There is a difference between inspiration and investigation. All right, looks like uh, whoever the pink nation is, we haven't really found them yet. Ooh, did the yellow also beat us too? No, they are, they are way behind. I look like we ruined them. Probably. Are we going to level up now or what? Let's see. We got two more turns before that amphitheater is done. Oh, well, that's the last amphitheater, isn't it? Yeah, we can go ahead and go to the next area if you want. They're in the middle of building the last amphitheaters as we speak. So it doesn't matter? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Whenever we go to the next area, they should still build them. Good. Well, let us evolve. All right. Let's go to the next era. Okay. So, we can't get the English or these guys, the Tetons. Taltons? I have no clue. Whatever they are. But we have the Norsemen. The Umayyads, the, Umayans, the nope. Swahili, the Mongols, the Mississippians. No. Uh, Kumar. Khmer. Khmer. Yeah, oh. Khmer. That, uh, yeah, that is right. The Galeans. Ghanians. Ghanians. Ghana is uh, somewhere. Oh Africa. yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, Ghan Ghanians. Ga however you say that. The Franks, the Byzantines, the Aztecs, the Taino. Taino, I would Tino? assume. Yeah, I don't know. That little chick, you know, makes it sound weird. Or we can say it's the Greeks, which I do not recommend. It doesn't All give right. us any bonuses. It just gives us a bigger score. I do like the Mongols. A mountain never has two Oh, tigers. sorry. Oh, I like that little descriptor. Okay. To do what is right, we must know what is right. It's all, I like them a lot. Okay. We'll keep looking. I mean, either the Franks or the Mongols. Let me go read what the Mongols have to say. I know who they are in real life. <laughs> When do the hair of blood on the blade? That is enough. Ooh, I like them, but I think I'm gonna. <sighs> All right. So uh, after looking, what do you think you want to pick? I'm very torn between the Franks and the Mongols. I think the Franks. Franks. Okay. Let me take a look at them. Okay. All right. We'll go with the Franks then. This is the only one I'm really not sure about. I like his I like his little outfit. I like his drip. Oh, I do like that little outfit. It's very cute. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and find that. Wisdom. They may have had a mighty army, but to be honest, King of the Franks sounds like something you'd eat at a baseball game. Alright. So we are now the Franks. Let's just go ahead and acknowledge all this. Blah blah blah. Oop, I already miss being the Greeks. Let's see. Unknown reached the medieval era. We already know. Population gain one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And let's go ahead and have them go out. Oh, wait, where'd our little sciencey bit go? I guess it disappeared. Oh, well. That sucks. Alright, that's gonna be done in a turn. That's gonna be done in a turn. That's gonna be done in a turn. Cool. So, what do we get special for being the Franks? Uh. I. Don't remember. Hold on, let's see. We get the separate. Scriptorium? Scriptorium. So we get the Scriptorium, which is a science and faith based uh, like building that we can build. We also get Franken Melita. I don't. I, uh, probably 
Fran Franky or Francie. Yeah. Probably Franky Millites. Franky Millites? I, I, I guess. Idea. I have no idea how to say that. But we get those. They are a uh, cavalry unit. So you get some special horsey, horsey boys. I do love horsey boys. Yeah. I'll get started on my horsey boys. All right. We will get started on that. Uno how momento. do you do? In every sense of it. Okay. Let's see. Looks like our stability is going down somewhere. Where is that at? Ooh, up here. Okay. And down here is also losing some stability. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and just jump that amphitheater to the front. Oh, we can't because our stability is so low. We're going to jump this to the front. That's going to take seven turns. We're going to have you help build that and have you help build that. So now it takes, instead of taking seven turns, it only takes three turns. And that'll uh, help with their stability problem. Ooh, that also gives us science. We're really becoming a very well-educated scientific people over here. That's what I like. Okay. Let's see. And then we got our army who is not really uh freaking science is gone. Well, oh, okay. We got a new law that we need to pass. Land rights. Does the land belong to the empire or the people? Oh dear. Communal lands. The fruit of the earth will be enjoyed by all or inherited lands. Family trees will best cultivate the souls over the generations. Ooh, this is a difficult one. Yeah. This isn't something that I have a strong moral opinion on. Mm -hmm. The idea of a communal land in a perfect world would be the ideal, everyone has enough, mm -hmm. etc. Not necessarily functional. Mm -hmm. Inherited land is a little classist, it's, it's what makes things difficult right now. But I think that's what we're going to have to go with. Inherited lands is what we're gonna to have to go with. Is that what you're? Is that what you're saying? I'm thinking about it. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, communal lands. You know, is, we could live in a hippie commune and. I'll give you this. I don't intend to be kind to you tonight, uh -huh. but because I don't actually care that much, I'm more okay with communal land. Okay, thank God. Why should individual wealth and political connections determine the status of something as timeless as the land? I don't know why you're so upset. Because that would have that would have made this way harder. All right, because uh, all right. So just to <laughs> just to let you know what that would have entailed. With this, we get an additional amount of food per ta per attached territory. So all those little outposts that we've been attaching to our territories, that gives us more food. Whereas this one allows us to claim territory with money instead of influence. We're not a very rich people, but we are very influential. So if we <laughs> if we had to stop using our influence to attach lands, we wouldn't be getting any more lands. I guess see that would have been unfortunate. Oh yeah, that would have been uh as the Spaniards say, El Terrible. That hurt me inside. <laughs> All right. All right. So we can't pick any of this yet because we haven't uh, decided the previous technology. Okay. But if we want to get our horsey boys, we need to pick. Okay. So here's well, what I wanted we're... conquest earlier. Anyway. All right. That's perfect. So in order to get our horsey boys, what we need to do is we have to go from conquest to imperial power to feudalism to cavalry. Is that acceptable? Yes, but I also want siege tactics. Well, how about this? We go conquest, siege tactics, and then up to the cavalry. Yes. Okay. I'll go ahead and queue that up. And there. And these numbers mean that they are going to go first, second, third, fourth, and so on and so forth. Gotcha. All right, we have got conquest because we are very scientific. And let's see, how is that coming along? All right, two more turns. Ooh, that's pretty low stability, but we'll be all right. We got one more turn. What are you doing? Where are you going? Let's have you garrison over here. Well, we're doing very well in the being educated portion of this balance fest. We sure are. Now I would like some more, please. All right. We'll be an sure impressive mausoleum. But I can't help wonder what sort of a sign it what is, is when an empire Hold spends on. more on the dead than the living. Oh, I thought they were attacking us. I was like, why are they attacking us? They're peaceful. 
But they're not. They're not attacking us. Okay, we're good. No, uh-oh. That was my mistake. And let's see. Who's offering us something? Do oh, something clever today. Doing the non-aggression pack treaty. again. Now they you are. have my attention. Tumultuous. Mm -hmm. Tempestuous. Mm -hmm. And I want them gone. Yes. Also, other big words as well. Make me a better offer. They refuse our, our little bribe, which is fine. Patrol because I honestly don't really want them to accept the bribe. Because that means we won't attack them. Just wait a few more turns and I'll have you gone. Alright, let's see. Uh, what's our stability looking like? We're pretty stable here. Let's go ahead and get our uh, little sciency buildings up. Sounds good? I'm alright with that. Alright. Can we put this one ah, up here? Let's see, where's the amphitheater? Oh my kid! Oh, right there. So, put it right here next to the amphitheater. Perfect. And then this place, how's the building? Ooh, this building's not looking so good over here. Um, we'll build the temple to Athena over here. Was it Athena? Or was it Artemis? Artemis. You're right. It was Artemis. Temple of Artemis. We do not blaspheme in this country. Let's see. Unless we do. I, I honestly don't know what we do anymore. We just kind of go with the flow, you know? Yeah, yeah, we just kind of do what do whatever it is that we do. As long as our choices are made with integrity and or vengeance, they are acceptable. I kind of like the temple overlooking this cliff like this. What do, you, what do you think? I think that's what I said in the first place, anyway. Probably. So we'll do that. I found it very aesthetic. And then we'll put this one over here. And that's it for right now. Okay, cool. Let's see. All right, cool. They burned that down, so now we can attach a territory to this land. Where do we want to put that? I mean, I'm not against building it on the ashes of the previous establishment. That actually isn't a bad idea. I think that will let us build it in one turn, as a matter of fact. Yep, just immediately built. There we go. And what we can do now, because we have so much influence is we can just go ahead and just move that wherever we want and we won't lose anything. Let's get a dock built as well. I am excited to use my seafaring. Let's see, where would be the best place to put it? Ooh, I like this one on that little right there. Right here? I like it there too, but here's the thing. If we put it right here, there are three spots where we can attach uh, other beneficial buildings to it. Whereas if we put it right here, there's only one spot. Ah, I see, I see. So I'm thinking right here. more that way? Here? The other way. Uh, oh, oh, we can't because that's too uh, deep. We can only put it here, here, or here. What's wrong with there? Is there fine? Here is fine, but because we already have a uh, attachment right here, we're getting more food. Got you. Okay, build it wherever. Yeah, I think building it right here would be best. Your Not first harbor. Fishing, trade, uh, voyages of exploration. And then we'll move. You will see many things right out here. of this tiny window onto a huge I room. like the idea of living up there. That's where I build all of my um <clears throat> little stone hearth territories. Oh uh, yeah. Are in like very mountainous. Oh we should play that. I don't I don't necessarily know if I want to play Stone Hearth with me. <laughs> it's one of my favorite games. And let me make all the decisions. No. <laughs> you give me anxiety. Alright and we'll go ahead and attach this. That way we have three territories attached here. I was contemplating playing an Isaac run or two and letting you make decisions and what items I accept, etc. That could be very stressful for you. It will be. I'm stressed out thinking about oh, it. Should I have attached it to our capital? It's too late now, I think. No, it's not too late. We can we can detach it if we want to, but it just... We already spent the influence. Eh, hey, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We can, we can worry about that later. We can always detach it later if we need to. Eh, hey, let's see. Well, we're already here. Where's this? Ah, here it is. Oh, we're already on it. We'll go ahead and start building. Ooh! Let's build that right here. We'll have the, uh, the little special building next to the dock. I like that. What sort of building is the special building again? Oh, it's, uh, the Scriptatorium. Scriptorium? Yeah, Scriptorium. It's a science and faith building. I like that concept. Yeah. Faith places are less likely to be attacked by warring places. A nice sea view will give us some inspiration. Yep. Yeah. And we'll put this one here. This one here. And then this one. Let's put it. Let's see. 
It's got I think we should, here. Yeah, I think we should put it right here, right next to the holy site. Yes, I mean, we're better ready to be inspired. Yeah. Put it right there on that little river. You got a little river cutting through it. It's adjacent to the holy site. I like it. It's very scenic. Yeah. But let's go ahead and move that Temple of Artemis up a little bit as well. So we can get that done very quickly. So how are my new, um, sibs going? Oh, they're, uh, they're going all right. I could have been a little bit better, but, you know. I don't recall asking your opinion. I just said, how are they doing? <laughs> all right, so we got a new story. Fever Pitch. Do you want to read this one? You want me to read it? I read the last one. Okay, I'll read this one. One of the calendar's most celebrated religious festivals have always uh, has always culminated with a traditional team ball game for as long as people can remember. But now the sport is becoming a favorite activity in its own right. Played across the empire, two of the best teams, one hailing from the financial powerhouse of Carvel. Carl? Carl. 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 Don't you do that to me. Uh, the other from the industrial heartland of Laventa, now want to vie for the title of Empire Champion, potentially diluting the original religious meaning. What is your position on the intended contest? Do you want to forbid it? First of all, living in a, a very intelligent country that celebrates its religion with baseball, that's my kind of place. Yeah. Second of all, I don't know. Please. Okay, well, we can forbid it. We must maintain the sanctity of this tradition and find virtue in work, not play. That doesn't sound very balanced to me. We can control it. The players are instruments of God. In their intense rivalry, they can help elevate the faith. Or we can support it. There is no controversy here. The match can be seen as a mere warm-up in its religious incarnation. I'm torn between control and support. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm pro support. I, I'd like to make them happy for once. All right, support them. Let's say, what do we get for that? All right, cool, well, cool, we've cool. been very faithful. Hold on, hold on. We've been so faithful so far. I don't know if it's appropriate to deviate from our ideals. Okay. I'm torn. Let them, let them be happy for once. Support. 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 Okay. So we'll go with support then. Boom. I okay. assume I have once again chosen wrong. No, no, no. I actually, uh, those two, you couldn't really go wrong with either, either or. One of them would increase our faith. The other one increases the happiness of our people. So, no, you, uh, you made a good choice. Thank you. Especially because our stability was kind of, kind of falling there for a second. Oh, right. You said those things were linked. Yeah. But, uh, but so far, so good. Your empire becomes one of the giants, astride the globe. And what will you do with this power? Oh, we can relocate our, we can relocate our capital if we want to, but don't really need to right now. All right, and let's see. What can we upgrade you to? Was it just... Oh, yeah, we got a little horsey boy. It's not our, our big bad horsey boy, but we got a horsey boy. Do you mean this is the first time I'm getting my horsey fighter I was promised? We got another story event. Fever Sir. Pitch Part 2. Mm -hmm. I'll read this one. All right, go ahead. Fever Pitch 2. As the day of the big game draws near, everywhere you go, from marketplaces to thermal bathhouses, you hear commoners and highborn alike talking about the imminent match. Now the day has finally arrived, and the great arena in Corral overflows with followers, <clears throat> followers of both cities' teams singing and cheering, as they await the commencement of the game. Your presence is expected, but there are no neutral areas in the arena. So if you attend, you will need to choose a side. What will you do? Oh, I don't like that. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't care for that in the slightest. We can ev evangelize. I will not attend. Instead, dedicating my time to remaining civilized. No, uh, reminding uh, citizens. Yeah, time to remind citizens of this match's religious roots, if you don't want to pick a side. But I love baseball. We can support... I mean... Yeah. We can support Carl. Corral? That place. We can also support Corral. I mean, you know, wh whichever. Leave Carl out of this. <laughs> I will favor the city of moneymakers, even if it disappoints the capital of industry. Or support Laventa. My heart is with the workers, not the moneylenders. 
Evangelize. Evangelize? It's the most balanced option, but I'm very upset about it. I will make them recreate the match for me at a later date. Alright. Just force them to dance for you? Yes. Alright, and... Let me take a little look-see here. Okay. I, don't, I don't really appreciate how difficult these choices are becoming. Oh yeah, it's about to get, uh... These choices are about to get a little, little rocky. I'm not built for this internal conflict. Let's go ahead and get that. Ooh, we get a little. Oh, and we can pick a. Man, a lot of stuff's happening right now. Congratulations on building right, the, got temple the temple of, of Artemis. Artemis. Finally. It is a site of worship, most definitely. Even more so if you also worship marble. Let's see. So our stability is going up there. Ooh, I should probably check the other places. Let's see. Stability is going up there. Stability is fine there. Stability is. That's fine there. And. We get to pick a religious tenant. Oh my! Yeah. I'm not ready for this. Uh, this is something... Oh, I think I took that. Alright, well, anyways. This is something, um... That is pretty interesting. Because each of these tenets can do something special for... Uh, cities that follow your faith. Such as, uh, let's... Smite Unbelievers. Uh, 25 experience on creating units on all cities. But the cities have to follow your belief. Or, Seek Wisdom. Plus five science on strategic resource deposits. Plus two science on religious districts. I'm probably going to go with that one, just so you know. All right. Abstain from intoxicants. Uh, let's see. Plus two industry on forests. Plus two industry on woodlands. Plus two industry on religious district. These words mean nothing to me. Okay. Would you like my recommendation? Do we, get one, do we only get one? We only get one for right now. Uh, and we can't pick anything somebody else has already picked. So these two are off the table. Um, so the ones that are currently on screen are the only ones that are available to us? Uh, all four of these and these two right here. If they got this little little token, this little coin above it, we can't pick it. Okay. I'm going to let you know currently we are not smiting nor hunting. Okay. Um, I'll accept your opinion in just a moment, but I, you, didn't, you never showed me what Shelter the True Oracle Oh, was. sorry. Shelter the True Oracles. Plus two industry on mountains, plus two industry on religious district. I just wanted the description for all of them, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Let's see. Listen judiciously to those who stand atop mountains, proclaiming words of the divine. I like that. Uh, I don't care about that. Smite unbelievers. The unbeliever is a poison in the empire's body. Cast out all who proclaim false. Uh, cast out all who proclaim false beliefs. We are an understanding people. We're also very warmongers. And very warmongery. Yeah, we 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 like we like war and we're conquest. Not, we're not angry at you about your religious choices. We're angry at you because you spoke poorly to me. Either or, you are a god queen. As I should be. So. And you are my um demigod court jester. I don't really like the demigod part. Can I just be the god court jester? No. Divine court jester? Acceptable. Fully divine court jester? Nope. Damn it. Uh, respect the sea's bounties. Reap nature's seas with next season's harvest in mind. Not tonight's meal. Boring. We're probably going to pick that later, but boring. Well, no, we only get one of these. Oh, ever? Uh, yes. Oh, dear. And then next, we got to pick from these. And then next from these, and so on and so forth. Uh. So we only get one of these. I don't know if you've noticed this, but exclusionary choices aren't really my jam. Yeah. Uh, hunt the infidels. No. Once the enemy is repelled, be sure they cannot spread their falsehoods elsewhere. Uh, seek wisdom. Use the riches of the the riches of the earth to enlighten the mind, and abstain from intoxicants. Avoid the false peddlers who seek to abide. Addle. The, oh, addle. Yeah. Uh, avoid the false pe peddlers who seek to addle the body and mind with poisonous sustenance. Well, right, we, so we used to be Greek. We cannot abstain from intox intoxicants. Yeah. I will accept your advice. This is something that's entirely new to me and somewhat intimidating. Although I am leaning towards seek wisdom. Uh, seek wisdom. Seek wisdom is not not bad, seeing as how we are a sciencey people. But the thing is, I think smite unbelievers is best right now. We get that plus 25 experience on creating units, which means our units are going to be stronger when we create them. And with us being kind of, us uh, with you being kind of trigger happy, to say the least, I think it'd be better to have strong units out the gate. I've heard your uh, your opinion. Um, no. 
Okay. We are not being that kind of people. Okay. We are tolerant. Are we, though? We are tolerant. I'm just saying, you know, they, they spoke ill of the God Queen. We smited them. We smited the non-believers. Just are... what kind of people would that make us? Powerful. I do love war. Okay. Be, a, be as the children say it, 100 with me. Okay. I think the kids still say that. I don't know. Um, our lack of this power you speak of. Is this why we have yet to smite the yellow people? I don't remember what their people were. Uh, I can't remember what they are now. The yellow team? That isn't the only reason, but the fact that we can't... The fact that we don't have many powerful units is part of the reason. I want to be a tolerant, open, intelligent, kind people, but I also want to smite my enemies. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to be the kind of people who are shunning non-believers. Okay. Well, it's not hunting the infidels, I assume. No, it's not hunting the infidels. I begrudgingly and uncomfortably and somewhat nauseously accept okay. smite the unbelievers. We can also select a, uh, a new religious building if you want. No. So instead of it being just this monolith, we can have a, a little Shinto shrine, a little Judaism uh, little temple. Do you know what that's called? No, I don't know what that's called. I believe that'd be a synagogue. It could be. I have no idea. Uh, and so on and so forth. I like being Greek polytheists. All right, that's fine. Uh, the Greek poly, poly... I can't say that word for some reason. This one is... Not necessarily what that symbol is, what that building is. That's just a startup building for our religion. So if we clicked another building, we would still be Greek polytheists? Yes, we like, would still be that. That's but we would just on our little thing? I think so. I just know that uh, we, our holy sites would look like this. This isn't important. We don't have to pick this. If I'm, you want to stay with that, we can. It's just... It's just so... You know... No, I don't know. You do know. I don't know. You do know. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's just a... It's so masculine. Oh. Well, we can keep that. I have no idea. I mean, I, I... This doesn't matter. <laughs> I was just offering this. If I say it matters, it matters. Okay, well then it matters. What do you want to do? <sighs> leave it alone. It'll just remind me of who I'm here to smite. Okay. We will leave that alone. But we will choose this tenant. I'm sorry, my people. Take that, you non-believers. Next time. So let's see. Religious, oh no. <laughs> religious tolerance. We are smiting the non-believers now. I'm, I don't care. We're open-minded. I don't care. We're <laughs> There's a reason why nobody has picked them yet. There's a reason why even the AI has not picked the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Do you Should religious minorities pay tribute? No.